Episode 32, BU Squalor here, bringing you one right after another. Game after game, we're going through right now, and the Packers defeated Drew Brees and the 49ers with a fourth down stop rushed by Carlos Hyde. And then the Packers drove down the field and ate up the rest of the clock. But as you can see, um, it was tied going into the fourth, so... Good job on the Packers for getting that done. Let's go look at the stats of this all-important game. You see Aaron Rodgers played pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, cat just scared me. 75%, <laughs> three touchdowns, one interception. That's probably the bad part. Drew Brees, 75, one touch, one interception. Carlos Hyde, I mean, they were pretty hand-in-hand, -hand, except he had one fumble, and he had one touchdown. So, receiving... Matt Jones leading it away. The wide receivers struggling a little bit against their corners, but Mel Foreman again getting it done. Got uh, one sack for Mike Daniels and a split sack for Jacquees Smith and Brandon Meebane and the interception with the Kyler Frackle. Doing it all. We run a 3 4, then he'd be doing it all, but since we run a 4 3, he's supposed to be dropping in coverage, so. That's not entirely true. You have to have versatile linebackers in a 3-4. In a, in a so it should be interesting to see if we can duplicate the Smith brothers, you know. Darius Smith, who's phenomenal, and Preston Smith, who looked like he came into shape, camp a little, a little heavy or something, a little slower. But um, so far, only one game has happened. It was the Minnesota Vikings, and that one went pretty well. We are now on week 16. Oh, we have a new injury, and it came up on the screen. Ah. Whoa, broke a thumb five weeks. Kenny Clark. Man, that. Dude, you got to play through that. How many? Oh, boy. That is... A bad injury. A team that can't afford them kind of injuries. But we'll keep on chugging along. Next up is the Panthers. See here, the Panthers are trying to keep up with the Falcons. At eight six and stay ahead of the Saints. We obviously don't have Drew Brees anymore since he was a 49er. And we don't have Kenny Clark anymore because he's hurt. And we have eight players ready for negotiation. Next up here, here we go, Plunter. Uh, we're going to try to assign him a $30,000 signing bonus. Oh, the A server wasn't available. Can you take 800000 Nope, he's not going to take 800000 So we have to give him a bump on salary. Take care of this other stuff and then play the Panthers. So I wasn't really going to get into this game, but man, that deep ball thing, that's the way to go because Aaron Rodgers just let this one go and I thought he overthrew him but Anton puts on the Jets and it's a touchdown it's hard to stop well we're going to lose it by a point the defense just couldn't hold him that was disappointing the scam Newton was just too much for him rushing he had a, a 78 or yarder, but other than that, he didn't really have much. Looks good on the stats, though. Favors had a great game, Flynn, Cobb. But uh, Kelvin Benjamin, once again, just too much for our corners. It's good in Madden, not in real life. Tony Early, Trey Boston. Bad, bad, bad. I'm not sure how badly that affected us for 
seating because that's what we're working for because I'm pretty sure we won the division already. You'll find out shortly here. All right, here's what we got. We got big injury, but first we must check out the standings. 10 and five. Okay, so th one of these teams are gonna be the wild card. Packers are We're at NFC North champions because we beat the Lions twice. They didn't give it to us yet, though. We did beat the Lions twice, right? Yeah, win. Win. So, yeah, yeah. So, we won the champ the North. We're division winners. That's good. And, uh,. We can get the New Giants beat us. So get the Eagles to win and the Seahawks Seahawks lose. Eagles lose. Seahawks Giants lose and we win. Maybe we'll get a bye. Outside of player regress, David Bakhtiari injury went down. Big decision. Devontae Adams uh, didn't play much this year at all. Man, he just start the backup. And it's the nine and six Jets. Got to do some of that. But first, we got to look at our players. Resign. We sign Clay Matthews. Nope. Quentin Rollins. Nope. Mm -mm. J. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Yes. All right. So we want to get the puncher for one year. I just want one year, buddy. Just a re-sign for one year. And I know that you didn't like. So we'll do eight seventy. There you go. Swaz Watas signed for one year for 870. And then, because I like having him on the team, I'm going to sign Trey Archer to a long term contract if he chooses so. But it is up to him if he wants to take this $3.57 million deal. He might not. All right. Well, there we go. Trey Ar Archer stays on the team for three years. Well, we got a punter to look at. A plus power punter. Undrafted talent going on the board. Don't even care. Where's the shot? Let's put a couple of these safeties on our board. Pretty much just offensive linemen were not scouted basically um, which I don't know maybe is a bad idea since these two are going to go down and all of them are kind of going down but they're not going to go down quickly and then we got to do our training that's what we're going to do I don't just want to look at our middle linebackers Experience where he stands right now. Four thousand experience for him, five thousand for Clay. And he's gonna get some upgrades before preseason or before the wild card starts. But uh, yep, uh, I think. Just take a little chill for the rest of the day. I disappointed in the Carolina game, and now we have this Jets game where we have to win to have a chance at a bye. All right, we gave up a touchdown with like 14 seconds left in the half, and they pulled ahead. 
now every third down the ball has been dropped so here we go thank you thank you Anton Flynn finally getting a third down to go our way okay Jordan Jenkins that was <gasps> Romel Foreman MVP of the team tied the game we need this win so bad. Oh. Sam Shields is on the Jets. Returning kicks. I like Sam Shields. I like Casey Hayward better. You know, time-wise and everything. And then Packers drafted Amaris Randall. And, man, this defense is not good. Okay, held him to a field goal, but you like just get a three and out every once in a while or something. Anton Flynn taking the game over. Randall Cobb, third wide receiver on the team. Romel Foreman. <sighs> Mohamed Wilkerson making it difficult. Ooh, 16. Is that gonna? That is a tied game. It's that long, you know. Need 15.77.99 yards, and they get 15.75 yards, and I think they're gonna punt. Okay, punch this bad boy in. That is just not a good start. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. We could use an interception, guys. Did you just get an interception and help me out here? Nope. Nope. I thought for a second, but. Oh my goodness. There goes that defense. How's that defense getting it done? Alright, so they're gonna kick a field goal. So we need to drive down and score a touchdown and just be done with this. Because I want a bye, and we need to win, and two teams need to lose. I don't think we're gonna get a bye anyways, but if we lose, we definitely don't get a bye. There you go. There we go, look at that. Gotta knock that ball in now. Randall Cobb getting it in. Alright, so field goal doesn't do him any good. They're gonna go for it on fourth down. On these ones. Alright, alright, there we go. Kyla Frackle getting it done. No, no. They're down two here. Can we get a sack maybe? No. Nope. Come on, guys. No big plays. You're just letting them go too quickly. Too quickly. What's what's up, defense? Come on. Come on, defense. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Really? Just, just, just stop. Yeah. See, now you didn't let him score fast enough, so. Alright, we can chuck the ball downfield and get... Field goal. You can even use all your timeouts. Ugh, gross, disgusting game. Not even worth looking at. Aaron Rodgers was terrible. We're in a wild card. Ended the season with two straight losses again. Defense just can't get it done. I think we actually we're worse this year than we were last year because we're ten and six. Okay. 
Let's go. Come on. I want to go to the next button. Because I get to spend some experience. That's terrible. One player has regressed. Matt Jones. Is he hurt? Tell me he's hurt, because man, that would just be... Nope. We are missing Kenny Clark. He's not like a... In this one, he's not as great. Okay. Wild card weekend. Here we go. Who will we be playing after losing the last two games of the season? Playing the Eagles. The 11 and 5 Eagles. Monte Adams. It's so hard to not. Look at the speed difference, you know? Well, that's... Let's look at the standings. So, we would have we would have had uh, the same record as the Seahawks, who I believe we crushed. See, we would have had a bye. Oh my goodness, it just gets even worse now. Seahawks would have been 11 and 5. We would have been 11 and 5. We would have had the tiebreaker over and we would have been the two seed. Instead, we fall all the way down. To the four seed. The two wild cards actually are higher up on the 10 and 6s, but we play the, the five seeded Eagles. Falcons won their division too. Okay, well, if you look at experiences, oh, there's some crazy gravy experience there. There's not going to be anything on. Oh boy. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Got up to normal development. Yay. NFL leading tackler. Got him out of the slow dev after his first year. That's probably it for the Phenomenals. Mason Crosby probably won something too, huh? Second pro, and he has superstar development. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We got some XPs to spend before we do our training because we have to do it before. It's part of the rules. Did he go to a Pro Bowl? I don't remember him being so. Yeah. Only 361 experience for that. Media servers aren't available. Yeah, all of them go to the Pro Bowl. Offensive lineman of the year, TJ Lang. Nice. Corey Lindsley went to the Pro Bowl. 
David did not. He's actually the best one in real life. Well, the two tackles didn't, but the three inside guys did. Matt Jones. Seems like he's got nothing. Okay. No, we just just quickly here. Twenty nine touchdowns, twenty nine interceptions, so that's kind of a down year for him. In rushing we got Matt Jones, 4.2 yards of carry. Hey, at least he just never came back, and Matt Jones took over. 1,000-yard rusher. Fishing with 4.2 yards of carry is good. 10 touchdowns. That's pretty, pretty, pretty promising there. All right, so our number one wide receiver was our tight end. Seven touchdowns. Randall Cobb, Flavors came, Flavors came in uh, third, Flynn. Devontae just missed so much time. Downs played 180. Graham's played only four games this year. Good show. Games played. Matt Jones played in all 16. Eddie only played in six. Defensively. Interceptions. Like a hide was four. Sacks. Mike Daniels and no one else. That's the problem. 121 tackles for you know, Stalling, who shook off his slow development. Plus, he's only 21, so that's pretty sweet. I I gotta I gotta look up a certain Rams player. Jordy Nelson, 64 receptions, 742 yards, three touchdowns. Okay, compare that to 7.2 for us. It makes him fourth receiver on our team. Was it a good trade? Probably not. Probably should have kept him, but That was that. Okay, uh, one more, one more, one more. Uh, is that 49ers? Richard Rodgers. 32 catches, 300. Played in seven games. Compared to his replacement. Almost a thousand yards. 16. So Romel Foreman definitely, uh, Definitely got the better. Did he go to the Pro Bowl? Oh yeah, 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 I already knew that, huh? Yeah, Pro Bowl appearance, so he got some serious points there too. Let's look at the Seahawks fullback. Seventy-eight overall now. Yep, that was a that was a missed. They even have a backup fullback that is seventy-five overall. Ugh, that was a missed uh, pick there. That's for sure. All right. Let's go to awards, yearly awards. Alex Smith is your NFL MVP. Coach of the year, Gus Bradley. Mike Malarkley, Benedict took third. 
Here we are failing at the end there. NFC awards. Cam Newton was offensive player. No running back after that. Defensive player was Bobby Wagner. Nick Stalling almost took. Defensive player of the year. Offensive rookie of the year. Lynn took fourth. Favors took fifth. Nick Stalling took first. Best quarterback, Carson Wentz. Best running back. Matt Jones, eighth. Best wide receiver. I don't have nothing on that list. Best O line. Hey, there we go. TJ Lang. Best D line. Mike Daniels took fifth. He's like our only D line. Best linebacker. Took fifth on that one. Best defensive back. Micah Hyde took ninth. Best kicker. Third. So we got some awards. Um. And I'll have to mark that down, but uh, yeah, we're going to be playing in the wild card. And that's all going to take place in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.